Well, there's a great deal of excitement for the season. We have a core nucleus of returning players from a successful team last year that hopes to continue to break through and even do more monumental things. It's not going to be an easy task by any means, but fortunately we have good culture of our program, we have very good character, and we have players who are hungry to continue to grow and excel, and uh, they just seem to impress in all aspects of their lives. A Johnson miss and a Lehigh celebration. Our senior class has the opportunity to go for their third championship in four years, which is very unique and very significant. Each of the players in our senior class, um, whether it's C.J. McCollum, Gabe Knutson, or even Holden Greiner, have really bought in and tried to uphold the fabric of this program. They've approached us with a great deal of unselfishness. They've shared the basketball, which has been kind of a signature for us over our successful years, and they've really adopted uh, family and team atmosphere and because of that they play not only for their own talent but they really play to represent the university but perhaps more importantly they play for the love of their teammates and for the love of the game and as a coach you really got to enjoy watching that type of product on the floor. And Bailey gives it to Knutson for three. Oh my word. Well I've shared with our players and I think they understand this we are not defending a championship. No one can take that championship from last season away. We're actually in a pursuit of another championship, and that pursuit will come with a great deal of determination, discipline, focus, teamwork, and all those other variables that we think are really important. We have a group of players that are hungry for the opportunity to continue to go out on top. They've had a taste of success. That taste of success, I hope, has not satisfied them. I don't think it has. I think they understand what it takes in order to be successful and are hungry to continue to do that um, as they continue to progress. A player like C.J. McCollum had the opportunity and made a choice to come back to Lehigh University as opposed to declare for the NBA draft with the idea of not only getting his degree, but to go out on top as a champion and to play for his teammates. Into transition, Bucknell will have nothing to do with it. Knutson thought about a three, now takes it hard to the basket. Part of having a successful team is having multiple players who can contribute and really help you out. Everyone talks about C.J. McCollum, but we have in Gabe Knutson, a player who scored over a thousand points in his junior year, and that's a significant milestone and tells you a little bit of his contributions to our program. We have other players like Holden Greiner who at various points throughout our year, particularly our non-conference schedule, it could be argued that he was our second best player and he's hungry to be able to finish out a year at that same competitive level. Mackie McKnight has continued to grow as an electrifying and fierce competitor as a guard. Other players such as uh, B.J. Bailey um, who surged at the end of last year, Conroy Baltimore who will play a significant role for us, Steph Savorkai who can shoot it, Anthony Tarazios who has, has had a nice preseason thus far and all the other players that kind of go into it are an indication that no player by himself can win and be successful but it really takes the collective efforts of all buying into the same thing that really makes a special team. Ten to go. With a player like McCollum, coaches will let you play. They don't want Bucknell to reset their defense. This is one on one off the bounce. Off the crossover for three. Got it! And C.J. McCollum with a little something to say to the Bucknell students. Well, it's interesting. We start our entire season with some very significant challenges. We go to Texas. Mackie McKnight went to high school in Texas. It's our, part of our philosophy in order to take our players home. We play a top 20 preseason team in Baylor. But then we immediately turn around and play in one of the most prestigious and historic preseason tournaments in the preseason in IT. And the interesting thing is, in the seeding format, we're actually in the most difficult pod because out of the 16 teams, we had the four seed, the five seed, the six seed, and a young team that's really emerging. So our path to go to Madison Square Garden certainly isn't easy, but it's nice to be able to challenge ourselves right from the onset. As a coach, I'll tell you, we need more practices. We're never ready, but our guys are fired up and can't wait for outside competition. Here's double double, 23 to go, 10 rebounds. Ahead of the pass! I'm really pleased with what our players have stood for throughout the course of their careers 
and what our players stand for who are currently in the middle of their careers. They've gone about this the right way. They've represented the Patriot League with a great deal of pride by excelling in the classroom, by excelling on the court, by playing with great sportsmanship and really doing this as a family and a together unit. Um, we're proud to be able to compete in the Patriot League with so many other quality programs with great coaches and uh, we're looking forward to this season and we know that there will be a lot of challenges ahead but we're excited for the journey.